Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. How is everyone doing on this wonderful whatever day it is today? Thursday. <laughs> uh, it's great. We are going to be finishing up our Dragon Parts collection, which sounds more weird every time I say it, so we can upgrade the champion uh, leathers and champion's tunic, and then we're moving on to the main storyline, since we ended up cutting last week's uh, episode a little bit short. Or last, I guess it was Sunday's episode, wasn't it? So, that's the plan for today. For those of you that are watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places to stay up to date on any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And we have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and want to check us out, or an X, or I'm just going to call it the, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, because that's way more difficult to say than calling it X, but it uh, definitely drives home the point that it's always going to be Twitter, even if they change the name. Okay, with that in mind, I do want to preface something here. I am currently battling a aggressive headache. <laughs> so if I'm a little out of sorts or have to uh, kill this light that's shining in my face, um, that's the explanation. And that's all the more I need to talk about that. We're looking for a dragon here today. Are you guys ready to find a dragon? gonna look and see because we have Nadra's tooth I think sort by type we just need a tooth of the other three we have all the horns we have we have all the spikes we have all the scales we have all the claws so we just need everybody but nadra's fang gotta shoot him in the face and then we gotta go hooper duper doopity do also probably need to oh hold on mm -hmm. Okay, I bookmarked this last time, I think. No, actually I did not. I... Hmm. I have it saved in here somewhere. There we go. Civil materials. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's fascinating. Um,
I'll just go back to the source over here on Reddit. Doop, 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 <laughs> this is the button I wanted, I think. There we go. Twenty-seven links later, I finally get to where I wanted to get to. Uh, da, da, da. Okie dokie. <laughs> there it is. So we need Let's see, we need 21 Silent Princess for each of them. So we need 42 Silent uh, Princesses. We have all of them. Um. Okay, and then we need a total of three light dragon scales. I guess I should probably not worry about the specific numbers until after we've clipped the other dragons in the face. Okay, well, um, my dragon that I thought was over here does not want to be over here, so we're going to launch from Lookout Landing and see where it takes us. Because we need the Light Dragon, we need the Feroche Dragon, and we need the uh, Dinral Dragon. And we know where Dinral emerges at about noonish, because who gets up before noon? <laughs> Only kidding. Get up when you want. I... yeah, <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> Zoom, lunch. We Do I see a dragon? Do I see a dragon? I do not see a dragon, and that makes me concerned. You know, I've considered seeing if I can put the dragon on the tracker. But I don't know that that would work. Because they're so far away. In general. So I don't know that it would you would ever really be in range with any certainty. Or in, in close enough... Proximity, that's the word I was looking for. 
that the tracker would be able to tell you, hey, you're going the right way or not. I just kind of took a guess flying off in this direction, hoping I would uh, find something, but it's not looking too promising, so we're going to go ahead and travel to this one, because I know Farosh emerges from somewhere nearby here, I think. Possibly, perhaps, maybe. All of those words. <laughs> Oof. Takes 45 Sundalion. Oh, we're good on that. Never mind. Hey, I was right! There's a Feroche! Let's get airborne! And also get, uh... Anti-Shocky. Oh, it was a, uh... Star pea, star fragments. <laughs> Looked like there was a fireball flying through the sky. <laughs> Which, in its defense, technically it is a fireball. All oh, right. We are falling much rapidly. I wonder if I can save on the dragon. it's not storming at the same time as all the little electric orbs are flying off from him or her now it's snowing snowing and electrical it's a shocking combination what go ahead and save for at the very least we we will have tried although that is a very strange looking thumbnail it's rather abstract Okay, we save there so we can uh, shoot him in the tooth, or her in the tooth. We also need more, uh, more arrows. Right. Yoink. Bye. Um, that's a nice picture. Point. That'll work. <laughs> Whoosh. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this star fragment because it's over here, and why not? I see the light dragon. I'm going to put a marker on it. Trees. All right. Oh, this is up on the Great Plateau. Nice. You've got to be kidding me. Literal seconds. Wow. Okay, that's two done. Let's go ahead and change back to my please don't attack me face. Because it's important when going into combat to uh, make a please don't attack me face so you don't get attacked. Okay, so we've got Nadra. We need Dinral, which it's 5 a.m. 
Dinroll will be up about noon. Coming out of this chasm here. So let's go here first. We'll fly over to Terrytown by the arrows. And that'll kill a little bit of time on our way to uh, wherever we're going. This poor guy just has to sit up here at his stand all day in case I wouldn't change my house. quite nice that they have this landing strip here. Like they built it for me. Although, somebody needs to maintain it, clear up these trees. <laughs> okay. We are here for your arrows. Hi, Kuru! Welcome to the stream. We are taking spare teeth from dragons. Oh. <laughs> sea pancakes and Fortnite shrub. Very nice. Let's grab some bomb flowers too because they're kind of annoying to duplicate. With the whole uh, exploding if they fall from too high <laughs> problem. shows up sooner than I thought he does. Maybe it's a two-day rotation. And like every other day, he shows up at six-something. We're going to need to change my hat to something less uh, spicy. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to him. Um, I also need to change my pants. In game, just to clarify, um, I don't actually need to change my mask. Mm, we might be able to make it. There's a possibility if we can catch his updraft. Or her updraft. Okay. Okay, I think we'll be okay. I'm scared. I'm sliding. Let me climb the dragon. There we go. I'm one with the dragon. <laughs> Gonna have to wait till she levels out. Although, this would be a good time to save. In case things go wrong. starting to level out. I am I just a shield now. Like <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> now that that is some good camouflage. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know. Dinral's horns, of the of the three main ones at the very least, I think Dinral's horns look the coolest. Okay, let's go ahead and save here so I don't have to deal with the uh, climbing everything again. And then we come out here on the nose. A bit on the nose, isn't it? Um, your nose is too slippery. Got it. <laughs> She's giving me the crazy eye. Okay, bye. Now we need the light dragon. I may have to find a, uh, a route, a map, that's the word I was really looking for, um, of the Light Dragon location. Kai Violin, still playing? Very cool. <laughs> oh, and the rest of you guys, too. It's only a matter of time. Uh... Oh, this is the... Gotcha. She's the one that there's there's pirates off the beach that she wants me to go fight. Uh... But I'm not interested. Wait, we don't have a picture? For this empty frame? Here I was thinking I was done with all these. Putting paintings on display. Ah. Big lake to the south called Octrock Lake. When the water level rises, it takes the shape of a monster called Noctrock. Like a picture ah. of Octrock Lake. Okay. Um, cool. I had never talked to them about this. Fascinating. Now, where's the map? Now is when we need to go do that, because it is raining. And raining is when it gets... when the level changes. As long as they can get there before, uh, before it stops raining. That'll work. Huh. You know, there's a very suspicious, uh... Yeah. pile of leaves here. With the rock under it. It's been a while since we found a, uh, Korok. Bonk. I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of glad I took the picture of the lake before I did that, because now it's got a 
Korok in the middle of the Ogdorok head. Go ahead and zoom over here so we don't have to run. Downhill's easy, uphill's a little more difficult. <laughs> Okie dokie. And it's raining again. Must be something about this uh, stable that makes it rain. I'm here. I thought you said Traveler, my true love, like Beetle was in love with us. Thanks for coming in such bad weather. Uh, I do not... <laughs> I saw the menu option after I, uh... Canceled it. Uh. <laughs> Did you bring me a picture of Octorok shape in the... In the shape... Or Octorok... Lake in the shape of an Octorok? No, I brought you a picture of Octorok Lake in the shape of a Liz Alpha. <laughs> oh. Go ahead and paint me a picture. Paint me like one of your Octorok girls. What? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> So very, very weird. <laughs> ah. It is a nice picture, though. Yay! I get a reward! Ah. Oh. And a meat oh. and rice bowl. <laughs> now, as far as I'm aware, that is, in ah. fact, the actual, uh, Last, ah. the actual last uh, stable picture quest. Oh. Five more points, you get sleepover tickets. I think we're at the point where it just cycles back and forth between Endura Carrots and sleepover tickets. Hey, Beetle, you have arrows. Wow. Although they're expensive. Take them all. Yes. Oh, you only have one. I have 572 bright bloom seeds in my inventory. I don't think I need to buy more. Wow! I'll take frogs because I can't uh, dupe them. I'll take the carrots because I think I can dupe them, but and the bugs I'll take. Wow! You know, it's kind of weird though that Beetle would be selling bugs because Beetle seems to. Seems to be a major bug guy, but he's maybe more of a beetle guy than a bug guy, and that's why he doesn't have any beetles for sale. He only has bugs. I wish I were popular. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, you're the guy I met at the Eagle Clan hideout. You looking for the three branches? Yeah, me too, me too. Maybe you should just, you know, quit? <laughs> Is joining the Yiga clan really worth such a deadly, dangerous, dangerous, deadly exam? Huh, this guy doesn't seem like he's any in any sort of hurry. It's almost like he's got the clan attire already. What am I saying? He couldn't have. I mean, there's no way, is there? Well, it appears that you want me to change my outfit. Hiya. <laughs> what? What? A real live Yiga clan member? Hmm? I know that blonde hair. You're the guy I met at the Yiga Clan hideout, right? Oh. Look, I love the Yiga Clan as much as the next guy, but anybody'd be shocked if you talked to them in that getup. Wait a sec. <laughs> then, you collected the Yiga attire? All three pieces? You're kidding me. Seriously? How did he get the whole outfit before me? 
<laughs> wow. I am so happy for you. It even covers your face, so people will fall in love with your handsome mystique. Now that he's done it, I don't want to copy him. I'm gonna find some other way to make everyone think I'm attractive and cool. Now, here's my question. Does he still say the same thing if I wear the fabled lightning helm? Sorry, buddy, I'm not interested in the Yiga clan anymore. Trying to show off is just wasting your time. My mom always said, Mimos, you're the handsomest boy in the whole world. So there's no need for me to dress up. Just so you know, dressing up like a member of the Yiga clan won't make you popular. Everyone will just run from you. <laughs> you could give someone a, someone a couple joining ring garland from the Kakariko village at the famous love spot in Farron. And still, nobody would ever fall for you in that getup. I wanted him to say something about my lightning helmet, but, uh, it's not. Because this is uh, wi widely acknowledged as part of the Yiga clan set, because it's the replica that they made. And I don't know if you remember in previous episodes, but we have actually talked to Yiga clan members while wearing the helmet, and they just, they just accept it. They're fascinated and 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 amazed and stuff by it because supposedly the helmet chooses who gets to wear it, but Okay, now we need to find the dragon. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> um well, what do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? <laughs> so... There was... Light, light something island, light, light st stretch, light reach, light reflection, light, uh, light up my life island. What? <laughs> Reflective device. There, Light Cast Island. I don't think that's going to be close. Um, I think previously we went to the Room of Awakening and then ascended through the, uh, through the ceiling. In order to find the dragon. I'm going up through the tree. This would be so cool if it corresponded to a tree up here. It does not. So now we looky for our dragon. Where, oh, where is the dragon? Where, oh, where is the dragon? Because, see, the light dragon never leaves the surface area. As opposed to the other three which go underground. 
into the depths. Looking too high up. <laughs> I kind of needed to go down to this island anyway, so. Why not get a Korok seed while we're at it? I think I saw who I'm looking for over this way. Hmm. It's gonna be a little unfortunate. Oh, what am I doing? I can look through the middle. That's a gap, not water. Maybe I didn't see it. Oh well, I could still recover from it. I'm trying to go to the top of the Temple of Time here. The Temple of Skyme. Because it's the Sky Temple of Time. It's Sky Time, somebody did something about this. <laughs> Here's a fun physics question. If this water is flowing down, how does this get replenished? Because there's lots of sky islands that just pour water, but have no uh, actual noticeable source. Oh, it's bright up here. Let's go out here and look. This ought to be a better uh, platform to look from. Because I thought one of the one of the shots, either that we had in a cutscene, or that uh, like one of the preview shots, had the light dragon flying by while you were standing here. Why is it so difficult to locate? <laughs> There's a bridge. I saw a bridge and thought it was a dragon. <laughs> it's the bridge dragon. While most dragons specialize in elemental abilities, this one specializes in helping you cross gaps. <laughs> Ooh, as the bell rings. Wait. 
that was the name of a Nickelodeon, um, like a Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon spin-off short series. Uh, no, it was, it was actually a full, full featured series, I believe. And my understanding is it was basically their reboot of Saved by the Bell from whatever era that was from. It was, Saved by the Bell was around when I was younger, but I don't know that if it was reruns or if it was uh, just at the end of the the series airtime. So it's not that old. <laughs> I'm guessing by the styling it probably was started sometime in the 80s. Saved by the bell. But then as the bell rings was rebooted in like the early 2000s. Or maybe even 2010 or later, honestly. Completely unrelated to what we're doing here, but... Oh, I can't find a dragon. Fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it. And I... Sensor. Change from Loopy. Are you... Change target. That's a... That's a handsome shot right there, Bubble Frog. Real, real adorable. Um, it's gonna be in the. I don't know. <laughs> Zelda's treasure. Um, <laughs> that was just that was too good of a uh, opportunity. That's where we're headed once we get this uh, armor and stuff repaired. See, these sort of dynamic shots are, are my favorite. Because it's the Zora Spear, but it's it's actively... Well, it's not in use, so to speak, but it's being carried. As opposed to, like, here's just a... And see, his as well. He's got his halberd. Side on with the light scale trying. That's, I mean, that's that's a really good photo of the two of them just in general. That's great. <laughs> the boulder breaker. Um, focus. We're looking for a dragon. <laughs> Not parts. Will it be in enemies? Wait, I don't have what. Oh, there's the other dragons. That's a good one, Anadra. Um, I don't have pictures of any of those. Whatever those are. Light dragon. Target. Find me a light dragon. That's what I was concerned of. Since it's not close here, let's go somewhere else. The Rakashog Shrine. And see if we can locate it there. Rakashog! See, I was thinking that it passes by Kakariko Village. 
so if I grab this uh, Sahasra Slope Skyview Tower and launch from there, maybe I'll be able to see her. There's a blue pea that I apparently haven't chased yet. Nadra. A little launch, but I don't think we're gonna... Oh, nice, a blood moon. Just what everybody wanted. I do not know where my dragon friend is. Go over here and launch then. Just launch around the map. And I would say, oh, we don't really need to worry about it, but we do because it specifically requires two light dragon fangs. Take a look first before we launch, see if we can... See anybody? Oh, wait, 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 I've discovered something. I, I think I've discovered something very important, okay? Um, look at the tears. The tears fell from the dragon, except, well, yeah, that one's part of it too, I think. Yeah, it's the one inside this one that uh, is not a, is not a marker. But these, uh, icons, they, they, they should be outlining the path of the dragon. Yes, I hope, please. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit snowy in these parts. Launch. It's dark, I can't see anything. You're annoying, go away. Everybody gonna attack me too? Sage's wills do we have currently? Zero. We have zero. We do have this shiny bulb. Which does nothing but uh, 
look shiny and is bulb like. Okay. About five seconds and things are gonna start getting ominous and gooey. I think I've been up in the sky for a blood moon before. It looks pretty when intense. The glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land. Why must the light dragon be so difficult to find? I'm just gonna work myself around the map. Although I should go counterclockwise because I think I think the dragon flies clockwise. There's a den roll. This is so bizarre. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know. Let's go down here. This is where we were already. <laughs> but as much time as we've spent going this way, then there's a possibility that if the dragon was coming this way, then it could we could kind of get ahead of it here. is so bizarre. I really thought we would have found it by now. dragon go on on vacation or something light dragon scared of Dennis because I'm looking for teeth this is incredibly weird Thunder is a good sign that I need to leave. Let's go to this one, I guess. Just work our way around the other direction. Hi there.
You know, I really wish there was a way we could shut off this, uh, like an option in the menu to shut off this, like, hazy fog effect. Because it really washes everything out. Feels like it takes away from the incredible environment design. I'm gonna have to just get a map and see uh, where the dragon's at normally. Because this is not, uh, this is not working for me. So it does, I do, I do think I'm right. It does seem to follow the path of these. Tears. So according to this, it does pass by this tower also passes by the Mount Laneru Tower. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go over here, since this is definitely a tower that it, it passes by. Um, and then it's probably just a matter of waiting. Passes by on the valley side between the tower and Pico Pond. Maybe it's worth it to take this rock up top. Give me a better view of when it's uh, getting close to our region. Speaking of that, here's the box. Oh. 
Never mind. I am going to put a stamp there so I know which direction I need to be facing. question is whether the dragon is lower or higher than my current position. Supposed to be coming from the north ish direction. So, something that direction, sort of. takes two hours real time for uh, it to complete its its loop Maybe we go up here, so we're a little higher. Better vantage from up here. it doesn't move by waiting in a campsite. This is uh, kind of miserable. <laughs>
so this one in the Akala Highlands, she passes by. It's, we're just going to go kind of counterclockwise on this route. And see if we can find her that way. Just what I wanted, a storm. <laughs> Okay, so basically straight north and around the mountain. tower in the type of ruins. So I've got a clear view between here and the Typhlo ruins, and I don't see the dragon. So we'll go ahead and fast travel here, and we'll launch and we'll head towards the Tamantha Tundra. There's a tower over there. We're going to find this dragon. So, kind of up here is actually where it goes. It's a labyrinth, so it's probably behind that labyrinth. The marker. Actually, wait. Yeah, it's probably straight behind the... Or because it's down in the chasm. It's 
it's not going to show it. behind the clouds. <laughs> I'm gonna drop down here. There should be a low gravity zone. Pretty soon. Maybe. 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 Guess not. There it is. completed this one yet? I had to, right? No, I'm still missing a uh, piece of the barbarian armor, so maybe I didn't uh, complete the labyrinth. That's fascinating. Sun's bright. Strange stakes in the ground.
Hey, everything but the objective. What the? This, uh, this one right here. <laughs> Currently trying to find the, uh, the light dragon. Because it has been quite elusive. And apparently it takes two... Oh, I'm past my marker. It takes two hours in-game time, or two hours real-time, for it to sequence through its route. And for whatever reason, I can't find it. And we need its tooth so we can uh, finish duplicating items to level up our champion stuff and then move on with the main quest. There is a kind of a... Kind of a swervy route. Um, actually, let me see if I can do this without messing everything up. Um, give me just a moment, and I can show you. Yeah, the light dragon route. Let's see here. This one... Ta-da! <laughs> I'm gonna smoosh it down so it's almost uh, impossible to read, but at least the routes kind of conveyed there. There we go. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. That would be a long... <laughs> would be a long ride, but... Yeah, that would solve a lot of these issues. Take a ride on the dragon and then use Hero's Path to mark it. The only drawback of using that technique... Uh, if for for our situation here is you still have to have the uh the dragon to get it started <laughs> oh just afk yeah that's uh that's an effective solution <laughs> so right now i'm just trying to track that path and go backwards counterclock counterclockwise to try and uh Locate it, and I mean it's if you have all the teardrops found, it follows the path of the teardrops, which is fascinating, but also makes complete sense. So that's uh, kind of a sort of an easy way to track it, I guess. Uh, how long you have on Tears of the Kingdom? Um, let's see. Did you did you start playing the day it released? That uh, that will largely impact my guess. You started on the day it released. Okay. Um, then that means you've probably got somewhere around three hundred and twenty hours. It's a completely arbitrary number. <laughs> Maybe the day after. Close enough. That campfire is quite, uh, quite bright there.
I don't even know how many hours I've got in this, to be honest. I haven't played it as much as I probably would have liked because of keeping it mixed in with the uh, other content here, but it's been good because it it doesn't uh, giving it and breaking it up some like that keeps it from getting kind of too monotonous. Your switch is still dead? Like, like still dead or just, uh, dead again? Oh boy, a thunderstorm. Just made your house with as many stories as you can with 15 rooms. A house with as many stories as possible using 15 rooms. Is that using stairs to properly access each of them, or is that just a uh, straight up stack in house levels yeah I would I would love for them since there's so many room options like the the sheer volume of rooms it'd be awesome if they did some kind of a DLC that allowed you to expand that if you got stairs on it sweet I guess if you just stacked 15 rooms on top of each other you might run out of stamina before you could reach the top <laughs> but yeah from from what i hear on the uh the last interview they did with the uh i don't know if it was with nintendo or with the the people that were responsible for producing the zelda game specifically um they they seemed to make it pretty clear that they had no intent to produce a dlc for this one um which is super unfortunate but <laughs> You'd have a billion galleries with just dog pictures. Yeah, that is uh, one one of the difficult balancing acts in this game is having enough uh, space for all the adorable pictures. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I need to turn around and go this way. I think. Where did my map go? <laughs> okay, so I am there. It swings in this side to roughly here and then comes out and circles around here and then to here. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom, in indeed. <laughs> okay, turns here and then swings around by this tower. And then... Comes around here, sort of. Oh, it just clips the top of Lake Hylia. Somewhere in here, and I'm out of pins. <laughs> okay, so... Blue one is first, yes. Blue one. Okay, dark blue one. Gotta go, because you got school tomorrow. That is kosher. I appreciate you stopping in anyway. Good luck with all of your school antics tomorrow. Whatever excitement that may include. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. I, I, I love doing it. So it's a, it's a win-win for everybody. Realistically, there's going to be one spot where the dragon's kind of hanging out since it travels its path so slowly. And that's going to be the one area that I haven't, uh, haven't looked. But eventually we should find it, at the very least, because if I follow its path backwards, it's got to be there somewhere, right? Ooh, stamina's out. Okay. Um, doesn't look like that's going to work for us, so where's the next pin? Go ahead and jump to the tower so we can get a, a decent jump off from it. And I can't even look before we launch here because we're buried in snow. This is by far the coolest tower. <laughs> Cause it's cause it's cold. <laughs> Alright, now where is my hairbrush? Dragon! I found it! Yes! Dragon! Finally! Oh, the light dragon's nearby! You don't say! <laughs> oh, we got it. We found the dragon. She's so adorable. <laughs> I found the dragon. Okay, the light dragon looks pretty sweet too. All right. Wow. That took way longer than it should have. And the funny thing is, probably the whole time I've been searching, it's been right through this area. It probably started here and worked its way over here, and that was it. And so, when we jumped down to this point, because that was one of the points that I knew it passed by, we just totally missed it. And we can delete that one, we can delete this one. Sadly, because we're in the middle of a of a stream here, <laughs> I can't use it to trace the trace the path. But I'll definitely keep that in mind because that is a that is a brilliant idea. Okay, hey Kuru, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> we finally found the light dragon. He's so cool. Okay, make sure that we're saved. So when I mess this uh, shot up, <laughs> I don't uh, don't have to go through all of that headache again. And then there was something I wanted to do. Oh yes, I want to fix my sensor so it's not censoring for a light dragon still. <laughs> Need to find a bloopy and put him back on the list here. <laughs> Bubble frog. 
Okay, and then we can set the sensor back to the shrines. Not that we need it because we've got all of the shrines already. Okay, now once again I'll save so I don't lose those settings. And then after we get this tooth, we can... Uh, we can clip the... Episode. Point. Got it! First try. <laughs> All right, okay, um, so since we've got that, I can take this uh, this map off from here, go back to my list, we can go ahead and take this map off from the screen. But before I do, I'm gonna be nice to anybody that happens to be watching this and needing the map. Let me find it in my list. <laughs> here it is. I am going to stretch this out real big and hold it here for a moment that is the current light dragon map so it takes two hours to make a full revolution two hours uh, real time so good luck <laughs> and bye bye okay save this and then we're We'll go ahead and split the the recording here, so don't, if you're here on the stream, don't run away, we're going to continue the stream. Um, but for those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have a Facebook and Instagram if you're on those platforms and want to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. Those are the best places to do so. Otherwise, oh, that would have been a really good shot for the... Uh... That's strange. When I turn and face the right, the shadow of the light dragon disappears. But uh, the sword and the gleok there in the background looked really cool. Um, so yeah, check us out Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we also have a TikTok and a um, social media formerly known as Twitter. If you're on those platforms and want to check us out over there. Otherwise, if you're enjoying the content over there on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. That is the best and easiest way to help support the channel. And it lets us know what content you guys are enjoying. Otherwise, that is everything I have for this episode. Again, those of you here on the stream, we will continue the stream. Um, but for those of you on the VODs, we'll catch you next time. Till then, stay random.